Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's tutorial is going to be very, very quick. I'm going to show you how to cover up your dark circles. Now, there are lots of ways that you can do this, but I'm going to show you my super easy peasy way to do this, okay? So let's get started. First, you're going to grab your face primer, okay? Face primer is really important because it's going to protect your pores, it's going to lock in the makeup longer, and it's going to create a smooth and even barrier between your skin and your coverage so that it's nice and even. Okay, so you're just gonna rub that all in there. Okay, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your foundation of choice. Ladies, foundation is gonna go on before your concealer, okay? If you wanna cover up dark circles, you really need to make sure that you put your foundation on first, okay? If you choose not to wear foundation, that's totally okay, you don't have to, and then you can proceed to the next step, okay? So grab your foundation shade. I'm gonna use my foundation stick in organza and I'm just kind of drawing it on. And I'm gonna take my brush here and I'm just gonna, in circular motion, spread it. And I am gonna put it up in my eye area where the dark circles are because it's gonna take away half the effort when I go to cover this up with the concealer. Super, super easy. Okay, so once that's done, once you've got your foundation on, you're gonna grab your setting powder, okay? I do this step on purpose because when I go to apply the concealer to cover my dark circle, I want to make sure that my coverage underneath stays in place, okay? So if I'm like brushing away, trying to cover this dark circle up, it could spread thin the foundation. So I put on some setting powder, so I'm just gonna untwist this. Okay, just grab a poof brush and then go all over your face. Okay, this is a really great setting powder because it's gonna blur the fine lines, it's gonna absorb excess oils, and it's gonna lock your coverage and makeup in place. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. Now we're gonna move on to the fun part. Okay, for this step, you're going to need to grab your concealer. Now, before you just grab any concealer, here is a quick tip. Your concealer should be one to two shades lighter than your foundation, okay? If you do not have that, then covering the dark circle is gonna be a little bit more tricky than you've anticipated. So I've got here a concealer that is two shades lighter than my foundation. So what I'm gonna do is, you see how I have a dark, you see them right here, it, it's, my, my face does not hide that I am a sleepless mother. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the inner corner and I'm just going to pull down kind of into like a triangle shape, okay? Now I start with the inner corner because the inner corner tends to be the darkest part of the area. So you want to have more coverage going there, okay? Now the reason why I've done it in a triangle is that what it's going to do when I start spreading the color it's going to take away the appearance of the dark circle and it's gonna draw attention to my eyes, okay? You wanna draw that attention. So you're just gonna take your brush and you're just gonna go over like this, okay? okay? So once you've spread evenly your concealer, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna grab a setting spray. I like to use setting spray, it's just my thing and you're gonna grab a blending bud. I got these little tiny ones, you can get them from the dollar store, and I spray it, okay? Now, I like to use a setting spray on this part so that it's gonna lock in the color without fear of it like wearing thin, okay? So I'm just gonna dab on the area, and you don't wanna swipe, you want to dab, okay? Because if you swipe, what's gonna happen is you're gonna wear the color thin and then that dark circle is gonna really come through and then all of that work was for nothing. So you wanna dab, okay? And this part could take a little bit of time, but you'll get used to it once you've locked in a routine, okay? So just keep doing that. I may need to spray a little bit more. 
Now you could do this step after you've applied your eyeshadow. Many people do. I like to apply my coverage first. I'm weirdo like that, but you probably should do it the alternate way so that you're not mucking up this work when you put eyeshadow on and then you have all that foliage or loose powder that could come out, okay? All right, you're at the final step of this, okay? The final step is to grab your setting powder again, grab a brush, and then you're gonna dab on to that area. Even though you've used setting spray to pat in the concealer, you wanna top it off with the setting powder. Cause as you notice, look at, look how it really like smooths out that eye area. It absorbs the oils, it fills in all the extra lines and it leaves it looking nice and smooth. So you definitely wanna do that. Okay, just lightly tap all around. And voila, now you can continue your makeup routine or maybe you finish your makeup routine, but now you know how to do this super easy and effectively.